Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our document conversion connector in Power Automate to automatically replace a string within a docx document. This is a perfect operation for changing small, repetitive, and easily identifiable strings in a document, such as titles, headers, footers, people's names, and more. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is create a simple instant cloud flow and give my flow a name. After that, I'm selecting the option to manually trigger and clicking create to begin working on my flow. The first thing we need to do is grab the document we want to replace a string within. My demo file lives in SharePoint, so I'm setting up a quick get file content operation and waiting for my file identifier to display before moving on. At this point, we can now implement the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. Let's click new step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, Let's select the correct connector with the green logo from the list of options below. Once we do that, we'll encounter an API login step, which isn't showing up in this video because my information is automatically saved. This is just a standard authorization step, and it will ask us to name our connection and include our API key. To get an API key for free, simply head to our website and register a free account. This will provide an API key with up to 800 free API calls per month and no additional commitments, and you can easily copy that in here from your account page. Once we reach the document conversion connector actions list, our first step is to find the begin editing a document action and select it. As a rule of thumb, anytime you want to use our document conversion connector to edit or replace information within an existing document, you need to use this begin editing action first. The reason for this is primarily document security, this action will create a secure, temporary editing URL for your documents which expires after 30 minutes and cannot be directly used to access the document's contents. For reference, it's not at all the same as a SharePoint URL, which you would use to directly share a docx file with a colleague. To structure your request for this action, we just need to parse our file content and give our file a name. After we've completed those steps, we can move on to replace a text string in our file. Let's now click a new step, navigate to the document conversion connector once again, and from here search replace string in a Word docx document. Below, let's then select the correct option, and then we can review the request parameters. The first thing we need to do here is parse our temporary editing URL that was created by the previous step. To do that, we can simply select the body output option from the dynamic content window. After that, we can specify if we want the string identifier to match the case of the original string, which I'm going to leave blank. Here at the bottom, we can go about entering the string we want to find in the match string field, and then we can enter our new string in the replace string field. My examples here are nonsensical, but it's perfect for easily identifiable text like headers, footers, titles, names, and more. Once we've finished configuring our text replacement step, all that's left is to either create a new file or update our existing one. I'm using the update file SharePoint action because I feel that's a bit more relevant here, but it's totally up to you. The important thing at this stage is to include the output content response from the previous step via the dynamic content window. This contains the encoding for our new file, which is automatically downloaded from the temporary editing URL. All that's left now is to save and test. After going through the usual steps to save and test a manual flow in Power Automate, I'm skipping over to my demo file folder and making sure the new string I entered has replaced the old string. Sure enough, here it is, and my document update is now complete. With that, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this product helpful, please feel free to subscribe to check out dozens of additional demonstration videos on our channel.